Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, hello, how are you guys doing? Hey, it's Saturday afternoon. Sorry, it's like 6.30 and uh, we have been getting it all day long. Came down yesterday after work and uh, you know, just so much going on. But I uh, thought I'd show you guys. Uh, so here's uh, some of our rye grass. It finally started coming in. It's not huge, but uh, better than nothing because we were almost out of hay. So what did we do today? Well, today, first thing this morning, we got these ladies up and we got the calves up. And we ran the calves through the uh, squeeze chute, which let me tell you, if you've ever worked calves, that's kind of like herding cats, man. These guys go in every direction, upside down. They try to jump, buck, they're all over the place. But uh, so what we did was we got all of the tags in the cows and uh, we put, uh, if it's a heifer calf, we put the tag in the left ear. If it's a bull calf, we put the tag in the right ear. All of them are numbered one zero zero something for, because the uh, year is 2021. So the first digit represents the year. And then we use these tags up until the point we wean. Uh, if we take them to the cell barn or the steers are gone, no big deal. If we keep any replacement heifers, then we go to a new tagging system, which has a letter that de designates the year and then uh, everything else. But so what we did was uh, this morning, we got all of the calves up, got them tagged. And then that was about nine o'clock this morning. So here it is six o'clock we kept the calves separated from the mamas because unfortunately with our management style, we have not done a good job of matching up the calves with the mama cows because they were not tagged. So what we did, we kept them apart from uh, literally uh, nine this morning until six this afternoon. And the mamas were howling, the babies were crying, everybody was mad and hungry and upset. So at six o'clock, we turned out the calves and let me tell you what, they all immediately ran to their moms. They all immediately started sucking and I was able to ride around and write down matching tag numbers with moms and babies. So that worked out really great. And as a reward to everybody, they got turned into a greener pasture. So there you go, nice green pasture. Everything looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, all right, guys, that is the story. So the calves are happy. Uh, the cows seem to be pretty happy. I think they look pretty good for this time of year. So we got about like four or five of these paddocks with the grass in here. Uh, Greg Judy would tell you it needs to be taller and thicker and everything, but hey, compared to where we were at a year ago, the rotational grazing is definitely helping a little bit, but us being part-timers, it just makes it difficult to do daily flips. We have to do weekly flips on a little bit larger pastures. So the other thing we did, which I'll show you tomorrow, is we did put up another electric fence uh, across some ryegrass at our Telephone 2 property. We got that going, and we also did a tremendous amount of pecan work uh, this weekend. We actually... Uh, we did it around the base of each pecan tree where the sprinklers are. We sprayed Roundup, uh, like a six foot diameter circle at the base of each one of those. And uh, basically uh, then we came back and started pruning the pecan trees because they are very, very close to bud break. So uh, things are definitely getting busy in the spring. There's just not enough hours in the day. So next weekend, I got to come back and everything we did here today I've got to do it at our Telephone 2 property. Got to get all those calves tagged, get them matched up with their moms. And then, uh, then you know, within the next week or two, we got to do some sorting. We're going to break these herds up, put them a little bit different groups. And then uh, before you know it, it'll be uh, April 18th, 20th, May 1st, somewhere in that time frame. And that's when we'll put the bulls in with the uh, cattle. So, uh, all right, man, never a dull moment, more to follow.
Okay guys, well, here we are at the Telephone 2 property. Thought I'd come back and check on the cows since we moved them to the new pasture. You know, today we put up a cross fence and uh, I thought I'd show you my ryegrass. So this is the 40 acres. And man, what a work we've done ever since last summer when we put the new fence in. We got it cleaned up. We still got some uh, brush piles in the future or distance to burn, but uh, you can see here. Oh, wait a minute. That's a reminder to other hogs that this is not a hog friendly zone. It's kind of like a warning sign, right? All right, let's see what we got up here. We're going to undo this little gate. Seems like only yesterday we were putting in this new uh, fence. God, I still like it. Painted with the Sherwin-Williams, but hey man, look at the ryegrass on the horizon. Okay, so when we get up to the top of the hill, I'll come back and I'll show you the uh, cross fence we put in and the concept that we're gonna use to actually uh, do some weekly rotational grazing. So uh, this 40 acres, we pretty much divided into two paddocks. So we're gonna have two paddocks of 20 acres with roughly 30 head on there. And uh, they'll stay on there for uh, basically a one week period and then we'll flip them, more to follow. Okay, here we go. So Saturday afternoon, what a full, full day. So. Uh, so we came over here and we basically took that hot wire, we ran it across the 40 acres and we went back to the back corner. So kind of a diagonal deal, but you can kind of see behind me where the entrance was. We've got some pretty good ryegrass going on right here. I mean, it's not huge, but it's a little something. So the plan is hopefully uh, we'll let this grow for another week and uh, next weekend we'll move uh, the herd so there's like 30 head of mama cows and calves in here we'll move them from here over here so uh and then on the horizon we have two paddocks one that they just came off of which has got basically uh grazed to the ground which is no bueno not good on my part but it is what it is and then the other section over there, which looks about like this. So the plan is hopefully considering that far pasture over there, we'll have two weeks before the cows are in there. I'm hoping we'll have a pretty good stand of ryegrass. And uh, since this has another week before we put the cows in here, uh, I'm hoping that this will grow. The weather conditions look pretty good. Highs in the 70s and 80s. We're expecting a few couple of showers along the way. Lows around 50 to 60, so uh, should be good ryegrass growing conditions. Tell you what, nice afternoon. I am exhausted. It's been a full day between working cattle, putting up the uh, electric fence. We pruned, uh, I don't know, probably 80, 90 pecan trees. It's been a full day, guys. All right, well, I've had about all the fun I can handle. More to follow, but hey, glory be to God please hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment, love to hear from you. Okay, so here's telephone two. So this is where we moved them uh, today. And you see what we did here. So I just showed you the entrance to telephone two when we came in with all the nice, beautiful ryegrass, which was back up here. So we came in here and we cut the corner on this uh, pond. And uh, the reason we did that is so if they're on this side of the paddock, they still have access to a lot of water. And we ran across where we could. And uh, so now they're on the one side. Everybody looks pretty content, I have to admit. We got to get back on this uh, cedar tree project where we started to knock down the cedars. We have not finished it. But here's the biggest problem we had. We had three calves today, little idiots. You know, there's always troublemakers. They would not come in. So you can see we got a gate down here at the very end. You see one mama cow standing there with her baby. There's another mama who went back and got her baby, but there's one calf that is yet to hook up because it won't go through the open gate. So frustrating. All right, more to follow.